This story is incredible. Children across the country plan on picketing. Pick, 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 hey, hey, I'm doing the news, fellas. These are my nephews from downstairs. We live in the same apartment complex. Oh, you found it? Great. Thanks for ruining my show. Don't eat all the macaroni. Like I was saying, this, this, is, this, is, this is a big one. Children across the country plan on picketing piggy banks everywhere beginning tomorrow. As we state officials propose a freeze we on weekly rain. allowances. We Local kids rain. are banding with we others nationwide rain. as they we seek a 25 rain. cent per we week raise to keep up with the we rising inflation. We Candy, gum, rain. ice cream, and comic book prices continue to increase at a yearly rate of 3%. Protesters are just asking that they be given their fair share for doing household chores and keeping their room clean. Is that too much to ask? It's a small economy for crying out loud. I've got things to do we and people to see. I'm just trying to make rain. things better for people that came after me. I'm just trying to keep up with inflation. My mom isn't going to see this, is she? I'm not afraid of anybody recognizing me. It's not like I'm asking for a dollar or anything. I'm just trying to raise my 401k. This mustache is real. What are you talking about? You know, No News has tried to contact the National Parents Allowance Association, and they did not return our calls. I guess they need that quarter so bad they're not even calling us. How about making the phone ring? You know, to make the, make the call. Call us back. We're, not, we're staying on this one. We are staying on this one. We're not letting it go. We deserve the money. Well, they do. I, I, I don't get an allowance. That's, that's news to me. Now it's time for our No News Live Drawing. Hey, where did that voice come from? <laughs> Sounded like the movie phone guy, didn't it? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Hey, later I'm going to give you my exclusive No News Movie Reviews. Today's live drawing is being witnessed by a representative of the accounting firm, Epi and Epi. Now for our live drawing. <laughs> there it is. It's hot dog. <laughs> Get a big job. Excellent. Well, that, that's our live drawing. Done right before your very eyes. <laughs> you can go now. Front. Great job, Effie. Join us next time for our No News Live Drawing. Hey, it's time now for another installment of Wilby's Wisdom. So let's mosey on down to the farm and see what Wilby has for us today. Shall we? <laughs> Hello, my name is Wilby Stuckinson, and I'm a chicken farmer. My daddy was a chicken farmer, and his daddy was a chicken farmer too. I come from a long line of chicken farmers. My whole family is chicken farmers, excepting for my uncle Bud Williams. He's a chicken farmer doctor. He can tell what's wrong with a chicken just by looking at the quill on its feathers, you know? Oh, well, look, see, that there's a quill. See, in the old days, what they do is they sharpen the end of that thing, they dip it in ink, and write on paper. My friend Willie over here, he collects feathers around the yard, and then he tries to sell them over on the highway, over yonder. Ain't that right, Willie? Well, I guess he's taking a nap or something. Well, today, I want to talk about something that's got me a little bothered. I don't think people should be asking stupid questions that they think is a smart one. Now, I heard a philosopher ask this question once. He said, which come first, the chicken or the egg? Now, being a chicken farmer myself, it got my attention. And I started thinking, well, I ain't never seen no egg lay no chicken. So I'm gonna say that the chicken come first. What do you think come first, Willie? Willie! You know, he's always goofing around. I don't think he knows what come first. He don't even like eggs. So this is what I did. I asked my Uncle Bud Williams. I said, what, what you think come first? He said, well, I say 
he said to me, he said, Wilby, this is how I see it. For breakfast, I have eggs. And for lunch, I have chicken. And breakfast come before lunch, so I say that the egg come before the chicken. And I said, that's a that's pretty wild observation there, Uncle Bud. But then I thought, wait a minute, Willie, this question is stupid. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? It just don't make sense. You can't get a chicken from an egg without having two chickens. You need two chickens to give you an egg that's gonna give you another chicken. So this is what I'm saying. The question that the philosopher is asking is kind of dumb. He could have asked, which came first, the two chickens or the one egg? But that question has some problems too. It don't go two chickens, one egg, two chickens, one egg. You need a whole lot of chickens to make an egg that's gonna give you more chickens and roosters so that you can have more eggs and a lot of chickens and eggs and stuff. Well, now that I got it off my chest, I'd like to suggest something. How about this? Philosophers should only ask questions about philosophy and keep away from subjects like chickens and eggs. They're just irritating us chicken farmers. Well, that's Wilby's wisdom for today. I'll see y'all soon. Hey, Willie, break's over. Come on, get up, son. We gotta fix this truck. What you sleeping about? Come on, get up. Thanks, Wilby. That was excellent. Whatever the heck you said. <laughs> I always wonder which came first myself, the chicken or the egg. Speaking of chicken, playgrounds everywhere are starting to enforce the newly passed ban on dodgeball. Advocates for the group Small <laughs> Children Without Padding hope that this new law will protect little children from big bullies who take over dodgeball games and hope to curb overly aggressive behaviors. Spike, the national spokesperson for the Bully Society of America, was notified of this new law and he vowed that he would get revenge on all of us. Who was that, camera two? You know, you can be replaced now. Stop. Didn't you just hear the report? I'm telling you, man, it's hard to get good help from these days. You gotta pay the bills. We'll be back with more news after this.